Corey Hadrich for the first time speaks on his feelings towards Tia after their divorce and despite the whole divorce charade. You know, I wish her the best with everything and um, that's unconditional for me. You know, I love unconditional. I can't get caught up in what's going on out there, what people are saying. I just know where my heart is at. And You guys, y'all know after the divorce, Corey wasn't really talking about it. He didn't even talk about it. One time he came on live to talk about he loved his family and all of those. And after that, he never said a word. Love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all for real. Okay. I love my beautiful family. Love my kids, love my wife, I love all you guys. Just know that it's all love, okay? Although Tia was going on a divorce tour, talking about her divorce, she wasn't selling a book about divorce or anything, but she was going on these interviews, talking about her divorce, how she graduated from her marriage and all of those. But Corey kept his cool. Nobody really knew what he was going through, how he was dealing with it. She did throw her ex under the bus because where bloggers and folks were talking about him not taking financial responsibilities, she liked those posts, she commented on some, and people were coming for Corey. But all this time, Corey never said anything about her. He never entertained any interview until recently where he did a Tyler Perry movie, Divorce in the Black, and he was asked about how the divorce kind of relate to his situation being that he is recently divorced. And that was when, for the first time, he spoke about dealing with the divorce. It's tough when it feels like you're going through something alone and no one understands it. You know, uh, no one's there for you. And it's just like, you know, you're a man, especially like, he has never said anything negative one time at the breakfast club this is what he said he gave me a all different perspective about Corey Hadrick. But like I said, we have a great uh, co-parent relationship and uh, it's about the kids. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's about the kids and um, we're doing we're doing great in that in that area. And like I said, I just I want everybody happy, man. And and it, I support that. Just happiness. They count on me. Like some little people count on me. So daddy can't make the wrong move. Daddy got to stay on swivel. Daddy can't get caught up in no mess. Daddy got to protect the mama regardless, you know what I'm saying? So that's just how I live my life. You know, mm -hmm. that's how I live. And more recently on the pivot, this is what Corby Hadrid had to say when he was asked about the co-parenting dynamic. Co-parenting side of it and trying to make sure that you both are still in the same lane of raising your children right. to the best of your ability. How has it been adapting to that and continuing to do such a good job as y'all are? Everything is about the kids, you know, their well-being, uh, their future. Um, and just co-parenting, you know what I'm saying? And keeping it still a family and keeping it love-based. You know, still keeping God first at the center of everything and just walking with love, man. That's all it's about. You know, I wish her the best with everything. And um, that's unconditional for me. You know, I love unconditional. I can't get caught up in going on out there, what people are saying. I just know where my heart is at. And I have to continue to move that way because I want all my blessings for me. You know, and if I succeed, she succeeds, our kids succeed. You know, so I have no room for failure or no room for no, you know, mistakes right now in my life. That's how I look at it. You guys, that was a whole damn statement no shade to tia no messiness no pettiness oh my god i got weak in the knees when he said if i succeed she succeed our kids succeed and he still has you know love towards her i feel like definitely someone you've been with for 20 years you can't just throw that away the love definitely is there but does he still want to be with her i don't think so it's not giving that to me but definitely he loves and respects her that was his wife for a long long time you guys from corey's recent interview and his comments about his divorce you can tell that he's a well level-headed man he doesn't just speak he doesn't speak based on how he feels he takes his time he calculates his every word because to him family comes first and his kids are his priority so everything he says he knows one day the kids are going to find them on the internet and 
and he wants to make sure that he doesn't say things that he regret. I perceive Corey as someone who is very family oriented and considers family first while making decisions. On the other hand, Tia Mori, who just recently launched her show where she is going on this dating spree, like girl, you just recently divorced. You're talking about finding yourself. I don't think dating should be the first thing on her mind if you ask me. If you lost a relationship that lasted for 20 years and you felt lost in it, you should be finding yourself before trying to go into another relationship. But from her show, we see her, you know, just trying to date again even though recently in the interview on today's show she says she's not dating to hear Corey say he still loves her he wishes her well it, it just means that Corey still considers her to be family because at the end of the day you spent a huge amount of your lifetime with this person and you share two beautiful kids with with her or with them this person will always be family and i love that Corey sees it that way whether or not they're going to come back together again whether or not they're going to spin the blog i do not know but what do you guys think do y'all think they're going to spin the vlog because TF Vibes right now is giving women leader, women right activists, oh, go for your power, choose your power, collect your power back. But when everything is all said and done, if she ever wants to get back to her man, or if they ever come back together again, if she's going to come back on this screens and say, yo, at the end of the day, this is my man. I've been with this man for 20 years. I can't just throw it all under the bus. We've shared our lives together. We have these two beautiful kids. This dating street is crazy. The divorce was necessary for me to find myself the, you all know Tia she's gonna come back saying all the stuff but what do you guys think do y'all think they'll probably spin the block again at the end of the day we want families to stay together black families to thrive so I'm, I'm really praying and rooting that these two people Corey and Tia find themselves find their happiness whether it be separately or together that they find their happiness but what are your thoughts you guys on everything Corey had said especially his recent interview on Payvote. You guys share your thoughts in the comment section. You know I love to hear your thoughts and opinion and as always thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point of the video do not forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray, work out, work smart and slay. Bye bye.